So something came up in a session today and I realized if I've ever done a video on this, I simply don't remember it. So it might be, if you're looking at my YouTube page right now, it might be buried somewhere in here on all these videos, or there's a chance I haven't done it yet. So that's why I decided to do it today. If you remember the ESA lens of self-esteem, which is actually derived from Pia Melody and Terry Real, I just call it the ESA lens because it fits with my name. So E is for esteem, A is for achievements, S is for society, and the final A is for attributes and assets. So this client specifically has identified that she falls into the society-based area. Her worth comes from other people and what they think of her. And she was cuddling with her husband recently and he was holding her and he said, you know what, honey, I just wanna tell you how much I appreciate you. And we were at that work event a couple nights ago and you were so wonderful. And I was so happy and proud to have you there with me as my wife. You're so lovely. You're so welcoming and you get along with people so well. And it was just a really great night. And I'm happy that I have you. And she was saying in session, she was so filled up by that and so happy about that. And then in session, she cringed. She goes, oh, am I allowed to have enjoyed that? Or was that my worth? And I said, I don't think I've done with you what I would call my balance, the scale. So I want you to picture the justice scale that we see where there's like the two, um, well, it's, it's her hands holding those thingies, right? But so it's the two sides of justice. And so I'm going to start with society out of order just because that's where my, my this client was at. And then I'll go through achievements and assets. Connection. If you're feeling connected to someone, that is our optimal state. We want to feel connected and I want to encourage that and I praise that. Are you feeling connected to this person? Or are you getting your worth and your value from them? So in that specific scenario, she felt connected to her husband. She felt wonderful with him. Her worth was not stemming from him right then. So that is optimal. That is being an inherent self-esteem. I have worth because I was born and I feel connected to my husband. If you're an achievement based, do you take pride in what you do? Are you good at what you do? Do you try hard and put effort into it and you feel good at the end of the day? Pride versus is your worth stemming from it? There's the balance I like to say with achievement-based. Pride versus self-worth or value. Society-based, again, is connection versus self-worth or value. If you're looking at asset-based, do you have the right car, the right boat, the right house, the right TV? We are allowed to be entertained by what we have. We're allowed to have fun and have joy. So the way I look at assets is, is it entertaining or does my worth come from it? I like a big TV. I like to watch things on big TV. That's entertaining. Uh, maybe I like my big house because I enjoy hostessing and having people over and I need a big house to do that. Not because I'm in society-based esteem, just because I love being around people and yeah, like I said, being a host. So that's, is it entertaining or am I getting my worth from it? So see where the balance is, pride versus worth, connection versus worth, entertainment versus worth. These are all positives. These are healthy. These are good for our body and worth and value needs to come from the inside inherent worth because you were born versus these outside sources. I also wanted to note that what I see show up is that we don't typically notice when we are getting our worth from one of these areas. We notice when we're not. I'm a stay at home mom and my worth comes from making a good meal and I burned dinner tonight. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I burned dinner. Oh, I, I delayed dinner for my whole family. The kids are going to go to bed later. I am so horrible. I can't believe I made that mistake. See how it's the absence of? Not necessarily, oh, I made an awesome dinner and now I feel better as a person because of it. Now that could be for some people, absolutely, which is what my client was wondering. My, client, my husband just gave me this huge compliment and um, talked about how much he loves me. Is my worth stemming from that? And it could have been. Turns out it wasn't, right? It was about that connection. It could have been. But again, it's usually in the absence of it that we feel it. You know, a girlfriend of mine walked into a house that she did end up buying. But when she first walked into the house, she looked at her fiance and she, I don't know actually if she said this out loud to him, so scratch that. But she thought to herself, ooh, I can't be in this house. I'm not worthy of this house. So what, that's what I mean by we find, we notice it more when in the absence of our worth. I can't have that because I'm not worthy of it. I'm not good enough for it. We don't typically notice it when we're getting our worth from it. We don't notice it when we're getting our worth from it because we feel fulfilled. I myself, I've, I've 
said this multiple times, I tend to be society based. I'm working on it. That's why I say tend to be now. I am society based and I use my achievement to get my boss to like me. So that's how they bleed together for me. Now that I'm self-employed and I don't have a boss, I'm thinking I'm fine because it's not there anymore. Like, yeah, I, my worth doesn't come from that anymore. And then an issue happened with my family a couple of years ago and I was shattered all over again. And I went to my husband and I went, oh, I'm t totally still in society base. It's just the typical person wasn't there anymore. So I wasn't coming from that. And I thought I was healed. And no, it's still there because now that I'm not, I'm not feeling worthy with my family. So it was still there. So again, we notice the worth piece typically in the absence of it. So one more time. Pride versus worth, connection versus worth, and entertainment versus worth. Those are my balances for each one that you can go through. And again, E is for esteem, A is for achievements, S is for society, the final A is for assets or attributes. And to get a printout of all of this, of those lenses and what they mean, head over to yourdecisiondiva.com because I am your decision diva. I am your queen of clarity. And I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.